Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can recognize the text from the images. And the images are going to be taken by using ESP text to cam And the best part of this project is we will be using 90% of our code from our previous project. Without any delay, let's get started. Firstly, we will be taking our previous source code so for that e please go to this link for that go to my github repository for esp cam image recognition go to the index.html file go to raw and you just need to copy all of this once we copy that we will be going to our visual studio code where i created a folder with my project name and I create an index.html file. Now I'm pasting all the code that I've copied. Now if you remember this we were using TensorFlow.js for achieving our last project final goal. For this project we will be using a cool library which is TestTrack.js. It can support up to 100 different languages. I strongly recommend you to read the license terms and conditions. It is basically free but if you are trying to go for some commercial use or anything uh, I would strongly recommend you to go through the licensing. Once we go to the actually get started if you scroll down a little bit you see a lot of code being shown but you don't have to worry all of that Firstly, you need to copy the CDN where this whole brain of this framework is lying. Firstly, you have to copy the CDN. Go back to our code. If you scroll down a little bit, just before the end of body tag, we will see some JavaScript. If I go down a little bit more, I see my TensorFlow.js load it here all I can all I want to do right now is replace all of this because we are not using tensorflow.js anymore alright so once we are done with that we have to copy this code please be careful we don't want this part if we use it you get some errors Alright, so this is where my TensorFlow processing is happening in our, from our last project. And right now I don't need this part, but before we delete it, let's make a use of the code that we have in it. So for this we're going to use a, an async function called get text. So this function is going to accept an object called result. And we're going to paste the code that we just copied. And I'm just going to format the document to make it look better. For this project, I'm purely basing on English language. If you want to change the, the language to any other language, that is absolutely fine, but please go through the documentation of test track chairs. All right, so if we try to understand this whole snippet carefully, honestly, this is the whole part where our text recognition is happening. Firstly, let's let's make use of the code that we previously used created. First, we need to get the status which is showing the spinner or something like a loading animation before we hide it we need to show it when the user clicks on the button and we're going to use the same appending the Alright, uh, it will make more sense if I show you a live preview. So this is how our previous project looks like. Let's 
quickly get an image. Okay. So the project was when we enter some URL from here, you're going to get the picture added to your container with a button get result. So as soon as we click on this, we will show this loading option or loading animation. And once the response from our API call is available, we stop showing this animation and we show the result instead. The whole, the whole process stays the same except the brain of this project will be changed from TensorFlow to TestRack.js. Now that I removed my TensorFlow.js CDN, it doesn't show the result at all. Okay, so here we are getting the result as an object and to access the ID we need to use it something like that. So everywhere you find the ID you just have to use the result dot and this is the core part where our we are appending our result. So from our previous function just copy the final part paste it and in here we don't want the table instead we would just we would be interested in having an s3 tag that's saying the result from image is there we have s3 tag card text is a bootstrap css class that can format your content or text a little bit better than the ugly font size or something like that. To this we are just going to add our text value which is our data from the response. With this we are pretty much done and let's change our title. Alright let's go back and see our page now. Alright, so we're going to do the text recognition, which is also an OCR, optical character recognition. 